Reenactors do all sorts of wars. They do 1812, French and Indian War, American Revolution, but the biggest number of reenactors then and now is the American Civil War. And you have reenactors who do Yankees and reenactors who do Confederates and some what they call galvanized. They go both ways. <laughs> uh, and they, and they ha build their own uh, uh, uniforms. Th they're not called costumes, they're called impressions. And they're meticulously accurate to the regiment, to the time, to the state, to the unit. Uh, so in fact, a, a reenactor is a living Civil War historian. Uh, uh, they really know not just about their regiment, but about the character that they portray. And as I say, some g do Yankees and, and Confederates both. They'll do infantry, they'll do cavalry. The cavalry guys have their own horses. The uh, artillery guys uh, pool their resources and build their own cannons. These are expensive endeavors. You can imagine the commitment to this hobby. And their, their wives and girlfriends are involved too. Yep. So then they also have the, uh, the imp what they call the impressions, uh, uh, the dresses, the, uh, the, the skirts, the, the hoops, the, uh, the hairdressings. Uh, of of uh, of what the Civil War would have looked like.